Plenty of leaders in this Munster side. James Colan, 20, Paul O'Connell himself, of course. Big decision makers, men of great experience. Voter, World Cup winner, number three. Munster so close to the line for a try which, if converted, will give them the lead. Nobody at fault. The referee decides they'll get to go down again. If you knew that much, you'd be in there, yeah? If you were that expert, you'd be in there scrummaging, yeah? Let's go. Shoulders above the hips. Same on this side. Short move. Come this side, please. Just give off the mark. Dupriya, 17. Against Kai Griffith, 17. On this side of the scrum. Here comes the big effort then from Munster, they'll get a full penalty. Now then, what do they do here? 17. Penalty goes against Kai Griffiths. Well, there's 10 minutes Stop. left, there's plenty of time, they'll have to kick the goal, surely. Well, the decision is to go for the scrum again. Pressure now very much on Kai Griffiths then, having conceded the penalty last time out. Well, there certainly wasn't an engage that time. You're both in before my call. You're both in before my call of the game. I'll come round that side. Thank you. Keep patience. Patience. Guys, let's get off the virtue you associate that as with Frontal Force, is it really? Having their patience tested to the full, I would say, from wanting to get down into this challenge. Duncan Jones again against PJ Bota. Kai Griffiths, Vian Dupria. Full penalty again. Now then, timeout for a yellow card, maybe? But who gets it? It's Kai Griffiths who's going to get awarded, I think, the yellow card. Or certainly a warning. I can see his head looking at me through the tunnel. He's got a head square and he can put it in five acts. I'm in the same paint, mate. Any more, you know what I'm going to do. Okay? In fact, it's a final warning. Options. Options. No question, really, what they were going to do, was it? This time, it might well be a penalty try. O'Connell and O'Callaghan, the two powerhouse men. Munster formed the scrum, looking for the score that could clinch this game. Lots of congratulations coming in from the back five there in the scrum of the Ospreys for their front row colleagues. They'll go down again. The you get a chance, you get the ball in. Get the ball down ready, get it in. Putting responsibility as well on the shoulders of Conor Murray, the scrum half, to get the ball in quickly. Here go Munster again, the scrum's gone down. Just going forward, same scrum, same scrum, it's down on the far side, it's the far side. This That's time the, the scrum has side. gone down on Duncan Jones' side. Nobody at fault though, says the referee. I will come this side, anything. Time out, all six, all right. six. Right, here's a talking to then for all six in the front row. I don't need the captain, I just need all six front row. Guys, you're all starting to make each other look stupid. Okay, we must wait for the engagement. We must be positive on that engagement. Take a, a long bind. Okay, shoulders above the hips and be square and station until that ball's in. After that, we can scrummage. Okay, same scrum. It's on this side. It's come down. Same Here scrum. we go again. Same scrum. Same back there. Munster won the last game here 
in the Pro 12 against the Ospreys, but then major surprise earlier this season, lost at home to Tillman Park. Now the big, big pressure is on the Ospreys scrum. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Murray finally able to feed. Another penalty decision. This time goes against Duncan Jones. Get the fight, scrum. <laughs> decision is One yet another scrum. It's a different offence. You're not going forward. It's not a repeated infringement situation. That's oh, the front row. You, you'll be drooling about this, won't they? As we surmise in the back row for Munster, Peter Romani, the young skipper, has moved to the flank. And it's James Colan who is controlling the scrum at number eight. Far more experienced man to have in this position. This time the penalty goes the other way. Three, what's the speed? Mevin Davis.